Hi, and welcome to TheRave.com. I'm Allie here with The Cab. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you guys? Doing great. Yeah? It's been... It hasn't been that long. No, it hasn't. I've seen you were just here in the summer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like it was a little while ago. Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm good. Good. Yeah. Good. Do you have any ghost experiences last time you guys were here? Mm. <laughs> uh, not exactly ghost experiences. We did really enjoy the tour a lot. Yeah. Um, some really cool stuff. Very scary. No ghost experiences, but when I went to McDonald's just after the haunted tour, there was a my, t my total was $6.66. That's a true story. <laughs> That's haunted. That was weird. That's haunted. It haunted. It followed me. I think Ronald McDonald is setting it up on purpose here. <laughs> I should have supersized it. That's it. I should have supersized it. You should have. What, 30 cents? <laughs> Anything but $6.66. I feel I've been coming here since I was 17. I'm 23 now. So I've gotten the tour a bunch and I've given the tour a bunch. So I try to act like the actual official tour guide. And I, fa <laughs> I fail pretty much every time I took you on a tour. Mm. But, um, um, I just try to throw out facts and I have like my phone on Google <laughs> and I'm like scrolling through, but I'm getting better. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm getting better. I think I'll, good. I'll write you some note cards. Yes. Yeah. I'll help you out there from Perfect. the inside. <laughs> I'm getting facts from the inside. Yeah. Nice. All right. So last time you guys were here, you were talking about, uh, opening up for Maroon 5. Mm -hmm. How was that? You were really excited for that. I think all five of us, that's, that's definitely our favorite band. Yeah. That's yeah, my, absolutely. that's my favorite band. Yeah. Absolutely. So, um, I think the most the most shocking thing on that tour was how nice they were. Yeah. Like you never know what you're going to expect when you go on a tour with a band that big that you might never see them, you might see them all the time, you have no idea. And the first it was the first day before we even went on stage and every single one of them came in and they were like, "Thank you guys so much for coming on this tour." And we're just like, "Where's the cameras? Like this is so weird." <laughs> and um, you know, first night after the show, they were like, "Come out to dinner. Like let's take you out to dinner. Let's get and that's how it was the entire tour. So it was it was awesome. Not to mention the kids. Right. The yeah. kids were incredible. Um, I mean, it was an experience going to all those different places. But, I mean, just the people in general, <clears throat> everyone that we worked with was so kind and made the experience. I mean, they treated us like royalty. So it was an honor to be a part of the yeah. tour. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good. I'm glad you guys had a good time. Thank you. How, Thank was, you. how was going overseas? Um, this was definitely the longest that we've been overseas. This was the first time you went overseas, yeah, right? Yeah, first time going to Asia and Australia and all those places. Um, it was a lot of the first time for me too. A lot of the countries went to, but um, it's it's uh it's pretty drastic in certain places you go to. Yeah, I, th I think that's a perfect word to describe it as drastic. It's um, like I like culture shocks. Like when we go to Australia, it's cool because it's on the other side of the world and it's a little bit different, but. Yeah. It's really not that much different. But going to Bangkok or going to Bali, places like that where you get off the plane, you're just like, this is crazy. Like there's a moped driving on the sidewalk, <laughs> I, golf carts running around going, it's, there's just no rules, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but the kids in each place were, I mean, some of the crowds were like 25,000 people, oh, wow. you know, and they, you know, they were watching us and actually listening to us yeah. like they're there from room five why are they listening to us <laughs> opening band but um they actually listened and it was really really welcoming and really nice it's are cool. the fans um foreign fans different than american fans <clears throat> um yes they're they're definitely crazier <laughs> like they they come to a concert to come to a concert like they're very <laughs> yeah. very loud during uh, during the songs but different from the u.s because after you finish playing a song they clap and then they're completely silent oh, really? like to where you could drop change and you could hear the change on stage wow. like they're very polite and they just listen <laughs> or they don't know what we're saying right <laughs> one or the other i mean <laughs> um they're very polite they're yeah, polite very polite it's really varies depending on what country you're in mm -hmm. some countries are known for having really crazy fans and some countries are known for like yeah those people are kind of like more reserved they could like love your band so much but might not be screaming like they would in you know japan <coughs> or korea or whatever for you but they you know still are just as supportive and all those kind of things so it's it really just depends on where you are so. You know what the craziest thing is, is when um, certain fans are singing and they don't speak English, but they know, they know all the words. The words yeah. But then when you finish the song and you start talking in between the song, they don't know what you're saying, but yeah. they know all the words. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's awesome. awesome. Yeah. yeah. So um, last time you guys were here, you said that you were going to start writing a new album. 
Yes. Have you started that? We have. We're, yeah. uh, I think we've almost, I think we're approaching 20 songs. Oh, really? Yeah. We're, when we get in like the groove, it, they just come. Like we'll do mm-hmm. a verse and a chorus and then that's, that's a big group of the song. Yeah. So um, we'll move on to another idea. But yeah, we're about almost 20 songs in. That's awesome. Just make as many as we can yeah. and then we just narrow it down. Good job. Thanks. And you guys have, play, um, have been playing radio shows mm-hmm. all over the country. How have yeah. those been going? They've been great so far. Mm-hmm. Um, radio show, you never know what to expect. It could be huge. Like last night, there was uh, we played at a bar, and the bar was completely packed out. But mm-hmm. when you when we got there, we had no idea what to expect. Yeah. And then today, you know, we went. <laughs> we thought we were going to be playing down in the very bottom, like the bowling alley. So we went down there. The, yeah, is it yeah. a bowling alley? Was it, it a bowling it alley? It was a bowling alley. Okay. Yes. The bowling. See, facts. <laughs> facts. Fa- got haunted him. bowling He's alley. He's good. Um, we went down there, and I was like, I think we're playing down here. Walk down. I was like, I don't think there's a show going on down here, so we'll upgraded to the next one. Right. We we're like, I'm gonna go check the really small room on the side. <laughs> Fact. Oh, there's a, there's a small room yes, on the side. Yes, there's two. He's there's right. two. There's two. There's two. I didn't know that part. Mm. <laughs> and then that wasn't going on, so we went up here and we stared at each other, Instagrammed a picture. I and saw now we're that. here. <laughs> check off your bucket list, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly. awesome. Yeah. So um. How old were you guys when you actually decided that you wanted to be musicians? Shoot. I mean, I <laughs> I thought I wanted to be so many things before I like first discovered music mm-hmm. um, that I was really into it. I always loved it a lot, but I just never really thought I could do it. I never believed in myself yeah. enough. And then when I got my first guitar and I played it like crazy for like a year, I was about 13 years old, and mm-hmm. I was like, okay, this is what I wanted to do. I mean, before that, I wanted to be an architect or a teacher or an actor all over the place. And then once I picked up a guitar at 13, that was it. And it's been that, I mean, ever since. And, you know, I'll be 23 next year, so it's been about 10 years. So, <coughs> I mean, a good majority of my life, I've I've, uh, I've known that that's what I wanted to do. But it wasn't until I picked up that guitar that I had any idea that I would want uh, a career in music. And now it, it, I can't get enough. <laughs> I think I started taking piano lessons when I was like six. Oh, wow. Yeah. I, I showed a little bit of interest, and then my mom was like, all right, once you start piano lessons, you're you're in. <laughs> so I started playing, and initially I didn't like it because yeah. uh, my piano teacher had me playing classical stuff, and I just didn't like gravitate towards that. Yeah. Um, but after I stopped, I stopped taking lessons when I was like 11 or 12, and after I stopped taking lessons, that's when I started playing a lot more. And I had a band, and then uh, we ended up in a battle of the bands against the cab. My oh, band really? in high school, yeah. Wow. And we were rivals. Alex definitely gave me like this super dirty look, like <laughs> rival, like a scene in Greece or something. I didn't know this. This is yeah, this great is stuff. Fact. Just shooting out facts, this one. Oh, wow. So we had a battle of the bands. We both lost. We oh. both. Alex will say that he beat in the votes, but I think I'm pretty sure our, my band was I second. Mean, we all know what really. We all know that you guys. You took it. We were both pretty terrible at the time, so I think <laughs> it was a draw. But, <laughs> but um, I mean, after that, we we joined and started playing, That's and awesome. you know, we kind of merged and turned yeah. into the cab. So, so yeah, I'm gonna go with five or six, five That's or six awesome. years old. And your music video for Endlessly just came out about three yeah. weeks ago. Tell me about the concept of that video. Uh, basically, the concept for Endlessly, we had a couple different ideas for it, but we really liked this one that we eventually went with. Uh, if you've seen the music video, you see that it's someone who's searching uh, for something and uh, ultimately finds it in a completely different place than where she expected. The mm-hmm. actress in it is Haley Steinfeld, and she's so, so talented. And uh, her and our singer Alexander De Leon connected through Twitter. And uh, we were able to make something happen. She was a fan of the cab, and we're obviously a fan of her acting. She was mm-hmm. in you know, True Grit <coughs> and um, a few other movies. But, you know, it really worked out to be able to collaborate between um, different artists of different uh, types and to make a really awesome music video. So we're really proud of it. Yeah, the message is, you know, when you're looking for something, you might be looking for something everywhere but what's right in front of you. Mm-hmm. So we wanted to kind of get that in an artistic way in a video. So that's yeah. why we did that. That's awesome. Yeah. It's, a, it's a very nice video. I Thank like you. it a lot. Thank yeah. you. So what's next for The Cab? Um, well, we are currently writing our album, mm-hmm. but we have uh, a couple weeks of radio shows. We're doing that. Um, we're playing with One Republic, who's yeah, super one of my other favorite bands. We're playing with them on the 13th in L.A. Yeah. 
-hmm. And then after that, we're just really, really locking into the studio. You know, we're finally signed to a record label. So mm -hmm. this is uh, this is going to be the good one. Good. Yeah. That's awesome. I can't wait to hear it. Thank you so Thank much. You. Have fun tonight, guys. Thank you. In the Thank ballroom. You. Yeah. I'm excited. I can't wait. Yeah. Good. Wait. Good. It'll yeah. be a great show. Thanks. And thank you for watching the rave.com. Be sure to check out the cab's current album, Symphony Soldier. We'll see you soon on the rave.com.